morning. This is the view I was telling you about last night. It's parked on the side of the road here, uh, in the small little town, right beside the river here. Isn't that amazing? Northern Ontario for you right there. That is the Canadian-American border there, actually. Those bushes on the other side of the river, that's the United States of America. So I don't know what's stopping people from just, you know, boating across. Just saying. All those Americans illegally crossing the border into Canada. <laughs> I'm just joking, making jokes. <laughs> uh, they're, uh, yeah, obviously wide open border over here. I'm sure the Americans got their satellites and stuff staring down at this border here, though. Bet you it wouldn't take long for the Border Patrol to be all over you if you swim across that. I don't know if I'd want to swim across it. It's a quick, pretty quick moving river by the looks of it. But whatever. Anyways, oh, well, my camera's almost dead. The day's just beginning. Oh. That's disappointing. Anyways, yes, this is uh, Emo. Remember, we stayed in Emo last night. Get past the bugs, camera. Come on. Don't focus on the bugs. I can't even find a clean spot. Oh, I'm going to have to wash this window as soon as I can. And my customer is just around the corner up the street, so I'm gonna go and meet them there. I'm actually earlier than I thought I would be because I got here last night, so we're gonna show up early. Hey, hey, Trucker Josh, one. Tardiness, zero. Am I thinking of the right word? Tardiness means late. If not, someone will correct me, but tardiness means late. Okay, let's get this day going. Some sort of town here. Some sort. Northern Ontario. Very nice. Right along the US border. That's why you see all the extra flags out everywhere, because okay buddy, really? Really? Here's my take on bicycles. I think bicycles should be on the sidewalk. What, Chuck Josh, on the sidewalk? Yeah, on the sidewalk. Here's my reasoning. Now here's some logic for you. Chuck or Josh logic, raw and unfiltered. Look out. What is worse? A bicycle hitting a pedestrian by accident at maybe what, 10, 20 miles an hour? Well, 20 mile an hour, he'd be clipping, whatever. Yeah, 10, 20 mile an hour. Or a car hitting a cyclist at 40 to 50 mile an hour. What's worse? Ding, 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 logic says, put the bikes on the sidewalk. Make the sidewalks bigger. Don't make the lane bigger for the bike. Make the sidewalks bigger and put them on the sidewalks. Why are you putting cyclists on the road with like hurtling pieces of steel? Every one of these cars is like 4,000 pounds of hurtling steel. And you're going to put little cyclists on the same road as them? That is not logic. Sorry. If you're, like, a lot of cities already make these special bike lanes. They widen the lanes, right, for the bicycles. I understand. Promoting cycling, good idea. Now, stop widening the lane of traffic and widen the sidewalk and paint the sidewalk saying, hey, this is for cyclists only. And if pedestrians decide to walk down that and they get hit, well, <laughs> too bad. It's better than the cyclist getting hit by a semi. You know what I'm saying? How many of you agree with me? Give me a thumbs up. Say something in the comments. Start a discussion. Come on, let's start this up. Nice little lakefront Locked property. 179 kilometers on 11. Anybody want to go fishing? I do. Pick me. Beasley, you want to go fishing? Why do you look so happy when I said that you don't know what fishing is? I want to go fishing, man. I don't care. It sounds fun. Yeah, it is fun. Great way to spend a day. 
Up and over we go. Speed limit is 60 here. 60 kilometers an hour. Like 40 mile an hour. Why? Wide open highway. I think it'd be at least 80 or like 50 here. That's just me. But hey, last time I checked, I don't make the laws. I just follow them. I'm a follower. Hey, so is this a bridge or a land bridge? I'm confused. I think this part's a bridge, that part's a land bridge. And then there's another bridge. Look at this big tower right here on this island. Wow. So this part of Ontario and this part of Canada is pretty much all little tiny lakes everywhere. A lake here, a lake there, all fresh water. This is all melted glaciers. Because this whole area here used to be under like half a mile of ice. Did you know that? Did you know that thousands of years ago? That's why I keep saying the earth has been warming up for thousands of years. It's nothing new. Sure, of course I believe in global warming. No kidding. If I didn't, Canada would still have to be under ice. Of course it's getting warmer. Thank God it is, or I wouldn't even have a country. Look at this here. Look at what we found. Oh, Northern Ontario, you're so beautiful. You're amazing, fantastic. Look at that, look at that behind me. You see that? I sort of want to take a canoe and go out to that island. Actually, you know what? I don't want a canoe, I want a boat, I want to go fishing. Wouldn't this be awesome to go fishing here, guys? Listen, you hear that? There's a truck coming, you hear it? Let's wait, let's wait. Here he comes, here he comes. Wait for it. You guys listening? That is such a beautiful sound. Still here, I'm going. Oh, diesel, apparently we're going this way. Okay, diesel, why are you pulling me? I don't know, man. Get your to go over there. Don't pull. I gotta get a picture of this and post it on the Facebooks and stuff. I hope this wind isn't gonna be messing this up. Pretty windy, but look at this. Nice shot from like right, like this maybe? I think this is what I'm gonna post to Facebook. I'll take the picture with my other camera. That's beautiful. We'll see. If you guys didn't see it, you're not following me on the Facebooks. Go down below, there's a link. Find my Facebooks. There's my own Facebook and then there's the Trucker Josh Facebook. It gets posted to both of them so you don't miss it. I try not to post the same thing to the same account at the same time. I try to do one like in the morning and then one in the afternoon so that you guys don't get the same thing twice at the same time. But... If you want to follow the Trucker Josh vlogs though, you got to go to the Trucker Josh page and like it. That's where all the Trucker Josh stuff is. My own page, that's filled with all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. But you're all welcome on both of them. So this is my uh, summary of my trip. Everywhere where I'm going here. Uh, we start off in Winnipeg. Now here's the leg miles. The miles from the, well, that town to that town, you know what I mean? Then the total miles all together. Approximate leg cost. Leg hours, blah, 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 and total hours. So let's see the total of this trip. Remember, we're going from Emo, Ontario, all of these different towns, all the way down to Clarenville, Newfoundland. In total, I will be driving 4,314 miles. That's not kilometers, that's miles. Leg hours, or total hours here. I'll be driving a total of 127 point hours and 44 minutes. So 4,314 miles, 127 hours of driving. That's just from Winnipeg, which is in the middle of Canada, to the East Coast. That's half of Canada, 4,300 miles. Just half of the country, because I'm starting right in the middle and going east, right to the coast. Imagine if I go from coast to coast. This country is big. It's big. It's very big. And that's only along the southern border. That's where everyone lives, along the southern border, because we like our American friends so much, and we really like it when they share their warmer weather with us. 
So we stay right next door just in case, you know, if they have any extra, they can just throw it over the border at us and it doesn't have to go too far to reach us, right? Up north is pretty uh, unhospitable, but there are people living up there, lots of people. There's some of you watching from Northwest Territories right now. Uh, that's not as far north as I'm talking about, but uh, that is pretty far north. I've never been there. I want to go there, though. But really, really, really far up, like Tuk Tiak Tuk. You've probably heard about it on Ice Road Truckers and stuff. Uh, Ice Road Truckers, apparently, they actually have their base terminal uh, right behind where my base terminal is. Same road, same area, right there. I can, like, look from my truck and go wave at them if they're ever there. But I've never seen them there yet. They're always busy, you know. They're all Hollywood and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you can go further, far up north there, and it's very hard to live up there, and very expensive to live up there. Very expensive. Google it once to see what the cost of living is for, like, little things like Pepsi or Coca Cola or uh, gasoline, stuff like that, up in northern Canada. You'll be surprised. Last I heard, a 12 pack of Pepsi in northern Canada, in these remote areas, almost $60 for a 12 pack of Pepsi. on to Highway 11, uh, we, or we broke off from Highway 17 just past Nipigon on the way east. I know there's a lot of bugs here, but I didn't want you to miss the scenery. I wish I would have put the camera outside when I was actually uh, in Nipigon there. I forgot about this nice scenery here with the sunlight, it's just perfect. With the bugs, not so much, but I did just clean my windshield a little while ago and then filled right back up again. But I'll take bugs over snow any day, just saying. Thing to do, I'll do it. It's better than driving through snow, but 
I'll tell you what, it sure keeps you on the edge of your seat staring at the highway. Because at any second, a moose could come walking out of the bush, running out of the bush, and could just be standing in the middle of the highway. You have to stay alert at night. If possible, pull over. I was gonna stop in Long Lack, but there was no parking for me anywhere. And I have the hours to get to Kappa's Casing. So I had no choice, I'm going to Kappa's Casing. I'm not gonna go park in the middle of nowhere with no cell service. What if my truck stalls, right? Or if I get a, an angry moose that comes and starts harassing me in the middle of the night. I don't, I don't want that, wherever I park. So I'm gonna try to drive as far as I can, try to get to Kappa's Casing or Hearst. Probably just Hearst. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for moose. Because it's not about whether or not there are gonna be moose out there. We know there are moose out there in front of us. The question is, where are they? I saw five moose. Six, no, five. One was a black bear, not a moose. Black bear's not a moose. Those two moose I counted from yesterday, so I saw two moose yesterday, three moose today, and a black bear. It's nerve wracking driving at night knowing that there's wildlife everywhere. Anyways, we made it to Hearst, Ontario, about an hour from Kappa's Casing, where we gotta unload tomorrow morning. I don't wanna drive any further at night. I had the hours to get there yet, but it's dark outside. It's time to park. The moose are on the loose. And I really don't want to test out my moose bumper. It's funny, you buy a moose bumper, but you really don't want to use it for moose. I don't even want to use it for deer. It's bad enough that I use it for all the bugs. But I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button wherever on the screen there on the YouTube channel, so you don't miss a cha uh, so you don't miss a day. Also, go down below to the description. There's links to my store. A lot of you've been wondering where can I get Trucker Josh merch. You guys keep sending me messages. You want a Trucker Josh shirt? The link is down below in the description, all the way at the bottom of the description, along with my Facebook, uh, Instagram. You know the drill. You'll you'll see it there. You're smart. I trust you. I'll see you tomorrow.